<laughs> What's going on, Brent? You're already here. How did you do that? It's kind of crazy. I just pushed live and you're already here. Brent Mitch. You guys see him in the chat. This is amazing. What he's given me. I know what it is. And some of you have that were on my live stream last week knows what it is. I'm going to wait for a little bit before I open this. I just want to tell you guys that what's the contents that's in this box. What's up, Ian Beeping? Hey, I like your logo. It's a nice logo. Oh, wait a minute. That's the logo I made, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm kidding. But, yeah, um, it looks good. I like it. Ian, how are you doing, buddy? But this gift right here is going to help me in my scuba diving 100%. Like, this is the key. This holds me from going from Mermet Springs and out to different places. So I can show you guys, um, you know, so I can bring some better, or some more content other than just the springs. Uh, what's up, NSSP01? I'm good, Ian. Thank you, buddy. So Brent Mitch, please like and follow him. I'm going to do a, a video of this so it won't be on a live stream. But I'm going to do the unboxing, and I will leave this up for people to see. But I'm definitely going to be doing a lot for um, Brent because he was so generous into gifting me this. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it um, at first. I was, I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. You know, a lot of people say things, but it actually happened. And um, Brent is an amazing person. Thank you so much, man. It's uh, it's neat. I didn't bring nothing to cut this gum tape with. Though. Oh yeah, dude. I don't have my knife, and I'm not going to use my knife. But I'm going to wait for everybody to get in here. People are still either eating or getting their kids to sleep or whatnot. Um, and there, there is several people that are on live. So I, yes, I am stepping over some people. But, I mean, every night there's a live stream with somebody that I know on it. So, it's bound to happen. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to start getting this open. Because I want to see. Or I want to be able to open it whenever I, when everybody's in here. So, I don't look like an idiot that I'm looking at like right now. Notification. Who's this? Who's this? Come on. I'm looking at the phone. It says that I'm not unlocking my phone, but I'm looking straight at it. Yeah, see? Another another uh, live stream. What's up, Brandon? Ugly Ones Bait Company. Ugh. Stupid tape. I should have my knife. So I was out doing scuba diving today, and I'm pretty sure my sister signed for this, so that's a good thing. I got home to this being there, so that was awesome. We did some cleaning up at the uh, at the springs on the platforms, kind of like maintenance. <clears throat> All right, so it is open. I'm going to set it to the side here and talk to you all for a little bit. I didn't uh, I didn't announce this earlier because I didn't really have a chance. So there may not be that many show up or they're on the other live stream. So here we go. I am going to be showing this and then uh, trying it on. So hopefully it'll fit. Hoping. So. All right. Six on. And one like. 
If y'all haven't hit the like button, please hit it. And if you guys haven't, I'm Lee. Oh, what's up, Lee? Uh, Lee Cohen, right? Is that Lee? Is that the Lee that I'm talking about? Or Yeah, NSSP01. Yep. Yep, that was your... Uh... That was your channel you were talking about. Down. I said, why did I say Lee Cohen? Oh, I know Lee Cohen. He's, I haven't seen him in forever. I need to get a hold of him. Lee Downing, yes. Well, you're supposed to text me before the live stream. <laughs> Sorry, B. St. John's, my bad. I forgot. Should be texting a lot of people, shouldn't I? There's actually, see, sometimes you don't get the notifications, so that's why I was kind of waiting for a little bit. Yeah, I don't really want to be on my phone while, so, well, it's, the notification went out, so that's good. I just got the notification, so we should be seeing some more people come in. Ah, oh, well, they'll see it. If they don't, oh, well. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what Brent sent me. And it's, it's not too light either. Okay, so like I said before, with the Mermet Springs, um, I was renting my equipment through them. And so I was able to just, just do Mermet Springs. Now, since B. St. John's, which everybody should subscribe to also, he got me the regulators. All right. Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate it. And uh, Brent sent me this. Okay. So they got the integrated boots, too. I didn't know. That's, I was wondering about that. So I won't have to wear boots. Check this out, guys. <laughs> this is amazing. This right here is waterproof D1 hybrid dry suit. I'm not going to be able to wear that around my neck, I guarantee you. <laughs> I'm going to have to stretch that neck out, so I won't be able to put on the neck. Um, definitely won't be able to put on the neck, I'll tell you that right now. That's a small neck. I'm like... I'm like a four ringer, and this is like two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely won't be able to try on the neck. Got the uh, dry hose or the inflator hose. Thanks, man. Just put a two inch piece of pipe and cut out each slide until it fits right. Yep. Yep. What's up, the old basser? Long time no see, brother. Completely my fault. <laughs> Dude, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Guys, I don't know if you know this much about, um, I mean, there, there's some people who know and there's some people who don't. This hybrid dry suit, any dry suit that's scuba diving related, I mean, unless you get it used or whatever, or you get a really good deal, most of them, are like two thousand dollars or um or more. So keep that in mind, Brent. Thank you so much for this, buddy. It's even got the it's even got the bigger head for the next seal. That's awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see these. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to cut out. I think even my wrist gaskets. I have to have yeah, definitely. It stinks depending on the fart comes to light suit. <laughs> right? Jordan, thank you. Um, check out what Jordan put on there. That's Brent's channel, uh, Brent Mitch. 
I'm so excited for this thing. Um, wow, so awesome. Now, he did take out the liner. I'm going to have to figure out how to put it back in. doesn't look too hard. It looks like a belt throws in. Um, this is the inner liner for it. Keeps me warm. It'll definitely be going in because my waters are a little colder than Mitch's. Or I might even, that feels a little rough, so I might uh, put on an under layer of some sort just like these. Dude, I'm going to get so much use out of this. Lee, you know it. That's all I know is dry suit diving. That is all I know. So, again, I'm not going to try out the next seal because I already know it doesn't fit. I will choke myself to death. I've done that one time. Going to try some spear fishing with that gear. It might happen. It might happen. Oh, and I like the almost like Gore-Tex. I don't, uh, is this like uh, Keprotech? It's almost kind of like Gore-Tex, but it's Keprotech. Is this the crush? This is a crush neoprene dry suit, right? Integrated boots. So I don't have to wear my regular boots. And it is a rear entry suit which I'll have to have my tag. Yep, I'll have to have my zipper tag. This thing is huge. It'll definitely fit, guarantee it. Yes, for your entry. <laughs> Oh, it's like Cinderella. I mean, that's like perfect, perfect shoe size. <laughs> yeah. Take me to the ball, baby. <laughs> Too fat for this. I'm all one. Wouldn't it suck if it didn't fit? Is in my shoe. Might want to wet the wrist seals. I actually can't. You're, uh, I, I can't read that really. I'm uh, 6'1, 230 pounds. Yep. All right. So I'm not going to wet the seals. Um, I'm just going <laughs> to. It kind of sounds stupid. My seal, the, the wrist gaskets are way too little and the head gasket. Yeah, Terrence, I know, but I'm gonna have to get these adjusted. Yeah, I think that's what was, uh, I think that may be what, <laughs> the P line. <laughs> There's a P-valve in here. Yeah, it is. The uh, the hose is down here on my foot. That's what that was. I'm never real terrified too. Oh. Here's the, uh, here's the final test if I can get it over my big butt, my big butt. Uh-oh. It'll definitely fit. Yes, I got room. Take out the next seals. Oh, you big dummy. Oh, I'm really not going to do that. That looks complicated. Huh. 
Yeah, we're gonna leave them in there for right now. Yeah, we're gonna leave that in there. And actually, that wrist seal is actually not that bad. Oh my goodness, I'll tell you what. I guess I probably should have used soapy water. Yeah, I'm not putting my head in this, but it fits. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's got room. Definitely looks awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of room in here. So it fits. It's good. I'm just not going to put my next seal on because it's going to choke the hell out of me. Because it's like, Terrence, it has a, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings. I'm trying to read this too, so. <laughs> yeah, well, my bad. I would check out my uh, dive log, but um, I don't have it. And it was four was my next seal. Heather, you did an awesome job on your um, your your uh, wetsuit training. Um, Heather is the person that was in my last video. It's Terrence's girlfriend. And, uh, yeah, it's, oh, you're, you're saying that maybe if I try it on, it may fit differently. Yeah, I kind of felt it give a little, so. Baby powder. Why am I looking around like I had baby powder out here? I'm not trying it. Nope. Ain't going. Yep, ain't going to do it. But yeah, I definitely have enough room in this. Fits good. I'll just have to figure out how to get this uh, off now without tearing everything. Does that have the integrated? That's a zipper. What kind of seal is that? Is that a zip seal to put my um, dry gloves on? <laughs> yeah, I was, if, if I got my neck through it, I was gonna say, it's a boy. Yeah. Yeah, those are the dry gloves for the, oh, come on. I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew I should have had soapy water. Should have listened. Mom, really? 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 
she does she doesn't realize that it's not going on because I already know it's not going to uh it's not going to go on. I don't uh I don't feel it. Here comes coming. <laughs> Oh, it does come with cuffs on the zip to protect your wrist. I'll dig those up. I forgot. Yeah, she did, but um, I'll, I'll put I'll put that on after I get. Uh, maybe, maybe I can. Uh, I got it. Y'all, if this. Uh, This doesn't look right. <laughs> it really doesn't look right. Don't worry, guys. I'm just playing with my next seal. Nothing to see here. <laughs> right? Okay. Now I gotta put it back on. Looks like you're getting ready to insert the P valve. No, the P valve. That's at my foot right now. I forgot there was a valve in there that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, definitely I'll have to get those uh the the cuffs. So then you, you put that on and then you what you zip it up? Is that how you do that? Because I have never seen the zipper kind on the straps. Come on. Now, will he be able to get it off after he gets it on? I know, right? It zips up there and just Velcro shut. Oh, okay. I'll send you the pictures through the text. Okay, cool. It's a boy! Now what? I got the scissors ready. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate it. Heck yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys. So, little adjustments. Can't use that next time I come down. No, no. Turning purple, three, two. No, actually, it actually, uh, it actually feels pretty good. It's not too tight at all. My God, there is another dump valve on my wrist, isn't there? Oh, you're not able to push this one? Look at this, guys. There's a dump valve right here. That's awesome. DUI dump valve. Hey, it's all good. Heck yeah. Little adjustments needed. But all in all, I think this will work. Why well, I say little adjustments is this. Got something like my belly right here is got something that needs to be pulled down. There's something right there that, but a little hard for me, so I had to put it on the next one. Yeah, it's uh, that's actually really nice. I was, 
That's sick. Dude, I'm so glad. Can it can it be can it zip up? So the zipper's right there. All right. And I don't have my zipper pull with me. It's it's in the house, so Definitely needs to be lubed up. I didn't want to say that, but the uh, the zipper looked a little dry, so we'll have to. <laughs> yeah, usually uh, you'll have somebody zip you up. But I definitely, definitely appreciate this, Brent. Please, everybody, like and subscribe to this channel. I think we're set up. Um, so yeah, I'll have to. Uh, when do you want to break it in? I don't care. When you when do you want to go? I just need a hood. Okay, so this is getting a little tight, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm good. I'm going to get this off, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. I should have put on. Uh, I should have put on. Uh, <laughs> I wore out on that one. I'm glad y'all are finding this funny. I can't wear this down. Should have put on the baby powder on on exit. Yes, yes, definitely, parents. There's just got to be a little bit of adjustments made on this suit. <laughs> Stretching over a coffee can. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Put powder on your wrist. They will roll out. You're so smart. <laughs> yeah. And that's why you're my instructor. <sighs> All right, guys. That is cool. Thanks again, Mitch, for the uh, for the dry suit. Appreciate it. It's going to come in handy. We're going to use it a lot. <laughs> why were you about to have a panic attack? Why why you find that funny, Ma? Uh, <laughs> thanks. All right, so I'm gonna have to sit down for this little number. All right, so if anybody thinks it's easy getting a dry suit on, they can kiss my ass. Cause it's not. It really isn't. Oh, you big dummy. That's what that was. I didn't have my suspenders on. That's what was screwing with me. Hey. It's all good, Terrence. The struggle is real, especially with fat people. Yeah, it definitely isn't very easily easy. But it fits. You live and you learn, yep. Yeah. 
I can completely assemble my gear out of bag, get in a dry suit, and exit a building in two minutes, six seconds. Ready to dive? <laughs> I know you can, but yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely have to get those cuffs for sure from there or whatever you're whatever you're saying on that. Hundred percent. Really appreciate this. This is this is amazing. I'll have to get those cuffs. Oh, look at this. Check this stuff out right here. He even gave me a bag for it. Dude, that is stoked. That is so cool. Heck yeah, dude. You are sick. But you can't put that in there until you dry out the suit. Got the dry suit hose. Heck yeah. You forgot to put the hoodie in there. Practice, 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 yeah. I'll give you all the props for scuba diving. I wouldn't be able to get over claustrophobia or however it's spelled. Um, yeah, you definitely be St. John's for the um, oh man, excuse me. For the regulators, they are at the shop right now getting uh, hoses put on, and they're, they're just at the shop because I'm gonna go back here. So I'm gonna have different hoses put on there, not different hoses, but more hoses. <sighs> I jumped in the water the other night, not thinking about it. I didn't have an inflator hose. <laughs> I was like, eh. or I was, eh. it, it would, it wouldn't do it. It wouldn't inflate. I was like, wait a minute. I don't have my inflator hose hooked up. I don't have one. <laughs> so I would like to be able to dive more than 15 feet. I snorkel spearfish carp in summer. Love those swim fins. Otherwise, I can't swim at all. Um, to become a certified uh, scuba diver, you have to tread water for 10 minutes, tread or uh, float. Um, and then you have to, I'm wanting to say it was 400 yards swimming. Yeah, yeah, I had a oral inflate. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely had to oral inflate the BC, but I did. I, I honestly grabbed a hold of my inflator, and it just wasn't. It didn't do nothing, and then I got to thinking, "Well, you dumbass, I don't even have a hose for it." <coughs> because I have extra neck and wrist, I forgot to put. It the hoodie in there I can do that but in my current state I can't swim without fins for more than like 30 feet well I didn't think I can do the 400 yards but I did it and uh, I ain't gonna lie I was pretty wore out at the end and then Terrence made me do the rest of the, the training that day I was like oh my gosh <laughs> Do that with currency. Per the standards, you can do the swim portion of open water training and snorkeling gear. Ah. Nice. So you say you're you're um, covered up. Well, see, this weekend's gonna be bad anyway. It's supposed to be really cold. What kind of spear gun do you use for carp? It's a longer swim, but some people can do the snorkeling easier. I tell you what, 
I can do snorkeling, but I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> you could take that snorkel and you know what you can do with it. I use a seven foot bamboo pole with five prong spearhead. Yeah, definitely, definitely next. Um, so yeah, I'll get a I'll get a hold of you, Terrence, on that. Um, we'll have to get me all set up with this and and figure out. I think since um, Brent said that there was cuffs that go along with that, then. Uh, I'll be able to put the dry suit glove on the cuff. I'm I'm guessing. So, if not, I can use wet gloves. I just slide my glove right over, and it'll be fine. Yeah, the uh, I killed a mess of them in South America. I use Riff Metal Tech for spear gun fishing or for spear fishing. Sweet. So I heard in Illinois that you can actually spear fish for catfish. Now that would be something to do. That would be cool. Um, they they said carp. Um, and a couple other things. There was like no game fish. And then they just recently passed a law either last year or this year that you could spear for catfish. That would definitely be a freaking hell of a time to spear fish for a catfish, especially the size that I see, which I, I'm not going to do it at Mermat because obviously we don't touch the fish at Mermat. <laughs> Check out SciTech Diving. Okay, I will. At the first 15 or 20 or about, yeah, about 15 dive. Right now it's so cold that they're docile and they're kind of like hiding. But uh, in the, the recent seven or eight dives, I've actually seen the catfish down there and they're huge huge like 70 60 to up to 100 pounds i've seen them but yeah we'll um they show the seal system okay SciTech diving okay i got you i'll uh i'll copy that so i can um Do I have plans on going to the ocean diving? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Terrence has been not on my case, but he's been uh, he's been telling me I need to do ocean diving. So that's probably going to be in the. We don't. We don't what. There is a huge, that's all I do twice a week. Awesome. Um, there is a travel extravaganza for the, or there's, they do a lot of traveling in Mermet Springs. They go like, I don't know, maybe eight or nine trips throughout the year. I mean, it may be more, maybe less, but I know they do a lot of trips and with them doing the trips, it's all in inclusive. Like you pay the the amount of money that it costs and you don't pay another dime while you're there unless like, you know, you want little trinkets or whatever, but <clears throat> everything is, everything's taken care of. So seven trips over the next year. Yeah. So you pay the, and it doesn't matter. What, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter where you're from. If you want to take a trip and you're um, SSI, certified or patty if you're a certified diver and you want to go on a trip get a hold of mermet springs definitely um, 
they can uh, they can set you up and hotels, planes, dive shops, all inclusive. So you go there with your equipment, all your equipment on the plane, whatnot. You get there, you put your gear on the boat, and it's there. You go have your fun, you go dive, you go eat, you go sleep, you go back out diving. They'll even put your fins on for you type stuff <laughs> if you want them to. That's the short version. Yeah, exactly. Can you bring back seafood like scallops and lobsters, etc.? So what Terrence said, it just depends on the trips. Um, he would probably be the one that you would want to ask those questions. I don't know them. I've, I've just seen pictures and stuff, and I've heard different things. So I know they lie and fish, and then they eat them. Ocean sketches me out, too. I'm not going to lie. Um, Brandon, um, but talking with these scuba divers that are there at the quarry, talking to different people on um, just on here, watching videos on on YouTube. They're just the dogs of the ocean. If you're going to be talking about sharks, they don't like you. You blow bubbles. You look weird. You got a big old tank on your back. They don't like you. So, so what I heard about lionfish are their, their quills on their backs are like really long and they're poisonous. But once you kill them and you got a spotter that puts them in a bag, they take them off your spear, put them in a bag, and then he don't touch them. Then you clean them. And there you go. We have liveaboards out here in California where you can hunt and bring back what you catch. Yeah, I don't know about, like I said, I don't know about these trips that they're going on. Um, they're trying to get me to go on one of them and I <laughs> just, it would be amazing, but not, not as we speak right now. So. But yeah, Brandon, there's a lot of things out in the ocean that could, could harm you, but that's why you learn how to scuba dive and you learn the safeties and you learn what not to, not to touch. You're not even supposed to touch things like that. So, you know, you can get yourself hurt if you don't know what you're doing. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe Lynn, it'd be awesome. But yeah. I am totally stoked about this. This is going to be awesome. And I'm probably going to wear, I, I, I'll just, I'll figure that out. I'll get it all set up. If I were to go, even in a group, and I see bull shark, I'm pretty sure I would have a stroke. Black tips, okay, everything else, not nah, good. <laughs> I touch electric. So I'm pretty sure he was like, I'm, I touch an electric eel in it. <laughs> it fucked me up. <laughs> My first memory of the ocean was when I was five. I got slapped by a rogue wave and got smacked by a jellyfish. That's fun. Lionfish, tasty beer battered. Mm. Ugly ones. I have a video on my Facebook page. Shark diving with 25 plus sharks. I touch an electric ray and it messed me up. Ooh, not good. Um, sorry, I had a Jared from Adventures with Purpose. Four, three hundred pounds. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I had a message from Jared. Great video, though. 
Terrence, you should upload that to YouTube. You should. Yeah, I don't mess around with YouTube a whole lot. Jacob is reeling me in. Sorry, bro. I'll tell you what, Terrence has been amazing at, at training, answering every single stupid question I have, um, even with teaching teaching Heather how to how to dive. He even answered questions, so he's he's a really good instructor in my eyes. You would have epic videos, Terrence. Yeah, he's a he's he's a really good diver. Are you a dive master? Terrence has seven hundred and eighty, seven hundred and ninety. How many dives do you have? I don't remember. I'm your second subscriber, Terrence. <laughs> Round 760, almost a master instructor. There you go, yeah. Yeah, see, in no time you'll be passing me up, Terrence. Just got to get your GoPro, GoPro 7 or 8. Don't get anything less. Anything less, you won't have that stability. It has a kind of like an electronic gimbal in there that keeps the stability. That's why some of the videos that you see people, they have um, a little bit of shakiness. That 7 or 8 GoPro, it smooths it out. It's pretty cool. So it's uh it's mermatsprings.com. Well there you go. Terrence is Terrence is all for it. Yep. Um now Terrence, would he have to I, I'm not sure is it, is all that information on the uh on the website there, yeah? I would think it would be. I found 10 this year. Oh, GoPros? Wow. We don't have a lot of mainland trips. It's actually a lot more money to go somewhere else more extravagant. It's actually not a lot more money. Okay. To go somewhere else more extravagant. Yeah, they're they're taking they they just got back from Truck Lagoon three weeks ago. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Glenn will get back to you on different things. What's the purpose of a dive knife? When you see a shark, you stab your buddy and swim very fast. Just don't hurt the shark. Yeah, there you go. With our dive knives, so they're dulled in. You just better stab them pretty hard. <laughs> hey, just like just like on land, you know, you don't have to be faster than the bear. You just have to be faster than your buddy. That's all I'm saying. I know everybody's heard that, but you know, you just got to swim faster than your buddy. funny <laughs> hey buddy sorry just now getting on had a busy day that's perfectly fine you just missed the uh the birth of uh a, a baby boy out of a dry suit um uh, i'm gonna show adam which is uh full body armor bassin or full armor bassin sorry hacked your name it's dry suit mitch <clears throat> Brent Mitch got me. It's a D1 suit hybrid. Um, it's got the integrated boots. It's got a relief valve if I have to pee. 
which is down there somewhere. I'll, I'll get that out later. But most of what I've seen on, on dry suits, all of them that I have actually looked at has been over $2,000. So that just gives you a, a, a round about how much one of those costs. And that's an, a pretty darn good dry suit. I just tried it on. And uh, I'm going to have to get on the treadmill, definitely. But it fit. So we're good. Full body armor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Every time I see full armor bass, and I think of full body armor. So there you go. Full body armor bass. And there we go. Heck yeah. I saw I missed some stuff here since I, I turned around. Um, hey, buddy. Sorry. Just got a busy day. Yes, I live here in Monterey, California, where everybody from Northern California comes to do their ocean open water if you dive there sunday evening or monday you find a ton of gear i think there's still a gopro floating around in mermet because i remember a guy lost one last year i don't know if anybody found it or not so there's still one floating around somewhere we did a liverboard for a week in truck lagoon diving world war ii ships <clears throat> leaving in three weeks for Belize. Yes, um, him and Heather and the, the group are all going to go to Belize, and uh, that's going to be freaking amazing. Have fatter friends. There you go. Hey, metal detecting in Alaska, Keithy. What's going on, man? Um, guys, if you haven't checked out metal detecting in Alaska, he does uh, – he did a oh what throwing hot water up in the air, making clouds from the water, from the boiling water. It was really neat. You guys need to check that out. He's got one that has like 42 million views on it, and then he's got one that he just recently did not too long ago with a lot of experimenting on like colored water and stuff. And then he poured hot water over top of them. Not on purpose, but uh, yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Brent, there's a nuclear missile silo up that way. Von, uh, Valhalla, I think is the name. Nice dry suit, Jacob. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Um, Brent Mitch gifted that to me. Um, totally want to dive it. Full armor, love it. I love seeing a dry suit diver with a pointed knife. <laughs> nice, Jacob. Oh, there's a lot of buried stuff in the mud in Mermet. Yeah. That, so I'm the first to tell you, and I don't care about it. <sighs> Terrence will laugh about it. But what you don't see in one of my videos is I'm going. I'm descending down where I think is a pretty decent speed and everything's good. Everything's great. I'm just watching everybody going down beside me. I'm like, okay, okay. Well, they stop. I keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to, I swear to you, I went that far down 60 foot deep in mud. <laughs> like, and then I just stayed there because when you get in the mud, you don't want to move your arms around because then it just throws up everything. So I was like, oh, no. So it took me like a couple squirts of air to get me buoyant. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't believe I did that. It was so funny. Not taking, not trying to take over your live stream. Actually, you're helping me out for answering these questions. I appreciate it. I didn't want to give the wrong answers, but then again, I didn't know some of the answers. <clears throat> Do you, did you see me on the Alaska Triangle? The episode is called Yuletide Yeti. It turned out pretty good. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> but yeah, I look like I did a mud angel. And then you can just see this one arm 
pull up and then hit my button. I stayed still. I did it. It just took me a little while to get unsuctioned off of the off the ground. And I think somebody actually grabbed a hold of my back and kind of pulled me out. <laughs> it was a good time. It was fun. I just didn't realize that the ground came up that quick. I didn't see it. It was dark. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Metal Tech in Alaska. I don't know about it. Learning is fun. I learn every day. And every time I'm with you, I learn something different. Good and bad. <laughs> <clears throat> but definitely, um, we're going to be having a lot, uh, a lot more different content on different places now. That I have a dry suit that I can go out. Um, just got to get a, an inner liner. Got to figure out the inner liner, and then uh, we'll be able to start trucking out, doing stuff. Let me see if. So, yeah. I'm looking for cheaper GoPros to place on the bottoms of lakes to record what is down there. Oh, I definitely will, Brent. Um, Randy, Randy Wren down there is is amazing. Um, he's a man. The yeah, he's a man down there that fixes all the stuff. And I'll definitely have him check everything out as I did with the, uh, with the, uh, regulators. So thanks again, Brent. I, I highly appreciate it. I'm being one of those. I bet being in one of those suits is like how it feels in a corset sucking in all your innards. Um, so when you, <clears throat> When you actually go down, oh, lead down, and you you change you change your name, <laughs> P. Um, when you go down, your your compression, it, you kind of manipulate with the air uh, inflator, so it's not compressing so much. So, yeah, Lee. Um, thanks. I appreciate it. I I'm I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that. Boyle's law. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into all that. That's science. Science is Terrence. <laughs> oh, and I have a P valve. Yes, I do. It's a regular dump valve, but when you open it up, you can pee. I don't have to get out of my dry suit like today. I like I was I was freaking out. I had to go so bad. I'm like, Paul, I got to go. I got to go now. <laughs> I was just ripping everything off. I had to go. All right. It's been an hour. Mitch. Um, Brent Mitch. Thank you. I will definitely be making a video on it. You can rip, you can rip that line out. Oh, what do you mean I can rip that line out? The line's in my feet right now. I'm gonna have to put a new line on it. I think, uh, and it was something like a barb barb line on there or something. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. It was on my feet. I couldn't figure out why my foot wasn't going down it. I'll find it later. Yeah, definitely going to be put to good use. Um, thank you for the birthday present, Brent. I appreciate it so much. You don't even realize what well, you're going to realize because well, you're going to see it used a lot. Uh, 
Oh, okay. I see. Yes. Like Terrence just said, thanks for being awesome. Um, it means a lot to me for not being able to afford getting my equipment. You guys helped me out to extend what Terrence and I are going to be doing. And it's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be an exciting time. So, like I said, I got a little bit of adjustments to do. But other than that, this is a perfect dry suit. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So, yes, we are going diving. We going diving. That's exactly right, Terrence. Thanks again, Brent. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's like the one of the best presents I've ever received, actually. <laughs> Most expensive one, that's for sure. All right, guys. Keep diving. It's not worth it to stop. Thanks again, everybody. Please subscribe to him and please shout him out. If you guys are doing videos, if you want to talk about it, please shout him out. Let's get him some more subscribers. He uh, he deserves millions in, in my eyes. So thanks again, guys. Y'all have a nice evening. Just giving back to Dive Community. I have two custom ones being made for me right now. I want to bring them into my shop. Nice. That's freaking amazing. And thanks, Jordan, um, for throwing up his, his, uh, yeah, his link. So click on that. Definitely can't wait to dive with you, B. St. John's, for sure. Or we'll hook up and we'll dive your, um, oh, what was that place called again? I can't remember it. I was just talking about it just a couple days ago with uh, with Glenn, the owner of Mermaid Springs. Where did I say that was? Where do you? You're Corey up there. What's that place called again? No, that's not it. <laughs> Hi, hey, no. No, where B. St. John's is. Um, it's in Ohio. Wait, he may text me. He, he may send it to me. I don't remember. Uh, he sent, he's. Yeah. Anyway, I can't remember it. So it's all good. Y'all have a nice evening. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later.